Hey guys and welcome back to more Warhammer 3 where we are continuing on the Empire campaign as the Emperor Karl Franz. Uh, it has been a while since I've played this campaign though, not gonna lie. So I don't really know what we were doing. That's right, we swapped settlements with uh, Middenland to secure province. Vlad von Karstein is over attacking Sterland. It looks like he's probably gonna take it's bad. Interesting. Yeah, he's getting bigger and bigger as well. Wood Elves are still hanging in there though. Allies with Kislev, who looks like are going to attack the vampires. Fantastic. There was something we were going to do this episode though, but I've completely forgot. The Shadow Legion. Whoa. Okay, interesting. They've landed at the coast of Lioness or Leoness. Who are we at war with currently? Quite a few people. Wood Elves. Wood Elves, Beastmen, Vampires, uh, and the Green Skins. I mean, the Wood Elves aren't really a threat at the moment, except for him. I have a strong feeling he's going to attack me. But we'll let him. He can attack this one. He's in for some trouble. Oh, this one even, really. What have we got going here? We're mustering and we're building. Isle Heart is building that. Oh, yes, because we're going to demolish this one, aren't we? But we can't do it just yet. A part of me just wants to take out these beastmen. I wonder if I could vassalize the beastmen if I do take him out. Hmm. We still got Helmgart. So we're kind of protected from the Empire. Or not from the Empire. We're kind of protected by the greens. From the greenskins and elves by the Empire and the dwarves. And Britannia. We'll give them some credit. How's the Golden Order going? I wonder why they haven't attacked that yet. Wow. Oh. Too, too bad this whole thing isn't the base. I guess it kind of is if you want to get technical, but that looks sick. Oh, Kazakarak, sorry. Okay, so from what I see, there's not much that can be done at the moment. So we'll end turn, see where these uh, wood elves move. And go from there. Your ally has been attacked. The ice core have been attacked by the warriors, or war hosts, sorry, of the apocalypse. And they have two allies of their own. We'll enter the war on the side of the ally. But of course, got to support Gislev. Greetings, fellow heirs of Sigma. Marienburg, non-aggression pact for 400. Uh, yeah, I don't plan on attacking you. So where has this wood elf moved to? There's Festus. Wonder what he's up to. I'm not looking forward to when he attacks me. Has he recruited? He has. Thank God, I can destroy that. Wait, that is the right one, yeah? Yes, destroy that. Upgrade the walls. Oh wait, does it actually increase the walls? Basic walls, tall walls, reinforced walls. That'd be awesome if it does. We'll upgrade it to tall walls, increase the garrison as well. Probably shouldn't have, but probably should at the same time. So how's, how's Kislev going up here with these attackers? Where about? I think it's um this guy here, I forget his name. The cool looking guy with the horns at his helmet. Does that one province own all that mountain? That's kind of cool. What the fuck? Another portal? Oh wait, that logo looks familiar. No? Maybe not. I think the wood elf might have fallen back unless he's gone back underground. I might put Carl Franz in between both of these cities. We'll put him there. We can't encamp him, unfortunately. But next turn we will, if he hasn't been attacked. Huntsman. I didn't even realize these guys. 160 range, 19 missile strength. They're probably the better ones then, if that's the case. Yeah, they are. Oh, there's the monstrous infantry. Oh, oh, there's a couple of them. Oh my God, and all of this. I need that Hellstorm rocket battery in my life. What are these two? War wagons? War wagons, mortars. Oh, things are about to get real good. I kind of want that army in, in the Emperor's army though. But there's too many experienced troops here to just disband. All we can do is hope, I guess. The Green Elves attack the Emperor, take out a couple units, maybe like a couple, couple swordsmen or something. Whoa, Greenskins attacking Bretonia. Of course, the legendary Lord as well against a pretty shite bat, uh, garrison. Well, I think that's going to the Greenskins. Settlement infected the capital. That's not good. Wait, all of them did. Holy hell. Kidding me, right? Faction destroyed. Nordland. No. Oh, we were going to form a coalition as well. Well, 
Unless I go back up there and take it back for them, I suppose. Military access agreement broken. Oh my god, Sterling have been wiped out completely. Now they're on my doorstep. Prince and now and the Emperor's Emperor. bloody losing troops because of Nurgle corruption or some no bullshit. Oh, because he's right there. Wow, we're about to get absolutely pummeled, aren't we? What can I build in the capital? Um, level what requires at least a level 4 building. I guess I probably shouldn't have built that here either. <laughs> I probably should have built these two. Plus one recruit rank for all artillery units. Income from all buildings. Local province plus 8. That could be pretty good. Chance of plague spreading minus 50. That could also be good. That or Imperial Palace though. I feel like the Imperial Palace has to be in the capital. So we'll build that I guess next time. Or when we get there. When we get to a tier 5. In the meantime though. Probably just build that. Or at least slow it down. Because it's going to be a while before I get uh tier five three turns wait a second there's no way they must have called that off there's no way they lost to that garrison i need the dwarves to start attacking these wood elves get rid of them completely i'm not at war with festus just yet i am however at war with the vampires so the question is do i sit here and wait for them to attack me and be on the defensive or do i attack them that is the question I don't have an answer for. Especially since we're a bit low on income per turn. They have pastures. Any of these have... They have wine, furs, wood, marble, iron. Jesus. I need to... Hang on. Can I trade for these dwarves? Oh, I am. Military access. Military alliance, even. Who are you at war with? Black Pit tribe. They're going to pay me 1200 to be military allies. Wow, 100%. Let's go. That was a lot easier than I thought. Do the no Ice Court want My to be military service. allies? No. Does that mean I'm friendly with all the dwarves now? Yes. Wait, I am quite I... friendly with Kazakarak. Oh, well, I'll be happy with um being military allies with... Wait, do they own in here as well? No, that's Britannia. They're just the exact same colours. That's big. I like that. Need to increase that army though. They're all tier 1 units. Outpost available. Oh, in um... Bingo, yes. So it's either Mont, Fort, or Karak. Where's the capital? This is their capital. Paragon. Well, or is this their capital? No, it wouldn't be. And neither would that. So that's their capital and it gives me the least troops. I don't like how it does that. Shit's annoying as fuck. We'll put it in... What one's this one? Karak? We'll put it in Karak. I am Karl Franz. Many call me Emperor. Many call me Emperor. Uh, who's this? Wissenland. 3,000 for a non-aggression pact. Absolutely. Money is power. Here we go. In the Empire... Political power is often connected to economic prosperity, but there is perhaps no group of organization or group or organization that has a greater effect on the econ economic prosperity across the state borders than the Merchants Guild. The rumors being that many of the electors themselves are on the payroll. Using your gravitas, it may be possible for you to arrange favors for the Patreons of the Merchants Guild such as loosened regulations or tax cuts. In addition to more personal furtherances, in return for their help in advancing your political standing, all at considerable cost, of course. Do nothing is prestige. Arrange favors is plus one authority. I'm at zero. Why am I... Why did I lose three authority that turn? Why is that why? Because the faction's been destroyed. Wow, every single one of my settlements has received plague. What's this guy doing? He hasn't moved. A lot of wars declared. Uh, okay, increase Isleheart to tier 3. You to tier 2. Another big greenskin army. Why is there two? Nothing else has two. Why is there two bars there? Look at how big his head is. Takes up the whole bloody camera. I lose troops in this territory, don't I? I do. Fuck, that's annoying. Festus is now attacking Nuln. Look at these armies the vampires have. I need... Yes, she's on her way. That's good. She's taking her goddamn time about it, though. I need her to hurry up and attack from this side. We 
We need to get rid of Festus. He's just corrupting everything with plague. I wonder if I step out of Gutenberg uh, in I camp. I still don't have the Pegasus. Oh, I'm close to having a Pegasus, to be fair. Faction encountered the Disciples of Moor. I already saw them here. You don't realize how big this map is. My god. I wonder what's going on over in the Elf, the High Elf Kingdom. Couple of shit going on there. I don't know what that is. The Slanish have conquered quite a bit. Okay, interesting. It's the uh, the Shadow Legion. They could probably expand quite quick, and I'm quite scared of that happening. We're gonna we're gonna take on these vampires I though anyway here. with Carl. Try to anyway. I mean they're all tier ones, a couple tier twos, but not all that frightening. This army, however, is a bit frightening. Flensburg. Okay, you don't have a full garrison yet. I don't know how this is gonna go because as soon as I attack Flensburg, if I if I encircle it for one turn, Vlad is coming for me. That's the only concern at the moment. I wonder if the Golden Order, my brothers, are gonna come help out a bit. Right now, ogres are getting involved. Greetings from Sigma. Is live. Join war against Clan Ferric. You don't know who they are. Clan Ferric. Is that? That sounds either Skaven or dwarves. Oh, oh, 1300 though. I need money. I might not just in case. Oh, then again, I do want her on my side. Sure. Why not? Oh, she's taking it. Good stuff. Go that way, Vlad. Okay. Wow, so both of them came and attacked me out on land. Pyrrhic victory. So I could wipe out all of their troops and I lose a vast majority. But here's what I'm thinking. I kind of want that because I want to build that mammoth army full of new shit. So I feel like, although I really want to fight it manually to see what some of these units look like, I feel like I might auto resolve it just to wipe out a lot of them while completely wiping out everyone here. I'm going to auto resolve it. And I apologize for not fighting this battle because I know it would have been epic. But I want this monstrous army. I feel like that was a worthy choice. Oh, we just couldn't kill him. We wiped out a lot though. Oh, we wiped out all of them. Just for some reason, these two aren't, or these aren't black and white. Wow, that's big. That is huge. Okay, yeah, but see, there's still an army there. Although it said I wiped out all of them. Hmm, don't know what that's about. Cool cutscene. Uh, mission or quest. What's this for? Galmaraz control melee attack. Enables sundering attacks. What the hell are they? Ability Galmaraz. Armor piercing weapon bonus. Bonus against large. When fighting weapon strength 15% when fighting against warriors of chaos. Demons of chaos and Norska. I need that. What's the enemy forces like? I don't know what. I don't. I don't know much about the green skin, so I don't know if they're good or not. But we'll do that eventually for sure. Wait, hang on a second. Allied outpost lost. Oh, of course. Imperial Pegasus, nice. Ambusher discovered. Where? Could be anywhere though. In any of these provinces, I have eyes over. Settlement receives plague. Yes. Allies begin the construction in, in Helm Guards. Okay, I respect it. Honor thy neighbors. Diplomatic relations plus 10 with Middenland. As a Karak has declared war on the vampires, you love to see it. So what I want to see here is how the hell they still have these kind of armies just floating around. I mean, I'm going to have to fall back now. I was hoping to just wipe these out and take that settlement, at least give it back to Sterland, but... Not with this big bastard here, I can't. So we'll go back to Grunberg. Oh, he's got the Pegasus. Oh, I couldn't see it. I'll see it when he comes out next. Recruit. Now, here we go. One of these, bang, straight away. We will have... Oh, there's oh, there's almost too much to choose from. We will have one more Reichsguard. We will have a... Oh, God, I want to try out all of these things. We'll get one unit of war wagon mortars. Probably should focus on infantry first, right? Oh, I don't have tier 3 barracks to get bloody great swords. Okay, we'll have to wait a bit for that. Uh, where are the tier 2 archers? Oh, wait, are they in the bloody great barracks as well? One turn. Okay, so we can't do great swords or archers. We'll put in 
one lot of shock have monstrous and oh they're both shock cav these are anti-large these are anti-infantry okay i'll bring in two of them or one of each sorry got that mortar i want a hellstorm rocket battery i'm almost tempted to grab two of them wait hang on a second missile strength 118 range 380 380 118 okay so it's the same it just has better health armor leadership better everything really oh wait it has less missile strength okay this hellstorm though 480 range oh my god 332 missile strength i'm grabbing two of them i don't care and even the great cannons i might get rid of one mortar and put in a great cannon because 450 range 217 yeah i'll do that and you have less so we'll get oh, but you're also closer to getting two silver chevrons so we'll get rid of you and put in a great cannon and then we have to wait how many turns four turns to get that to three and then however many turns to get that to three. Oh man that was a mistake oh well increase the garrison in that yes definitely is this chance of plague spreading minus 50 is that just for this settlement or for the province probably it's just settlement i'd say province gotta watch out for grom the paunch he owns quite a bit as well even these high elves own quite a bit okay have the have the ogres suddenly woken up have they they're attacking everything well they lost that battle though against uh Averland. there's festus now taking over wissenland i'm gonna be the only em empire left i can see it coming where is katarine off to next please tell me can i like tell her i can attack target if she attacks that does she have the option to give it back to the empire or is that just hers it's probably just going to be hers isn't it Ooh. oh we have uh rank increases oh wait we don't even have a secondary hero for my guy hang on a minute let's get you a hero what the hell's going on here immunopsychology weapon attack leadership or a size tough oh tough could be a good one monster hunter cunning enables poison attack melee attack plus two in all units in army and leadership plus two in all units in army that might be the one character experience gain plus 15 percent i kind of want that one as well so i might recruit i mean i'm gonna run out of fucking space if i recruit two more units that takes it up to 15 which then i can oh wait no shit almost forgot you i forgot i had to hit recruit which takes it up to one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen yeah so if i recruit two more people that takes it up to 16 which means i have four space for four more great swords that's probably more than enough right i might get rid of these outriders for the grenade launcher ones wait no because i need the archers don't i oh we got three great swords i'd say probably three more great swords get rid of the outriders and put in two archers i feel like that might be the play we'll leave it there for the time being though just in case we get attacked we can't afford to get rid of anyone best of the empire unit experience game plus 20 yes please recruit rank plus one. Oh, okay so what do we got we got reich's guard we got the two shock monstrous cav cannons two batteries and wall wagon mortar so we'll add that imperial p oh you can upgrade it hell yeah so let's get rid of all that oh my god i could have had a plus one rank gain for him oh man come on uh, yes, one of you, one of you, one more right guard, a war wagon mortar, two batteries, and a great cannon. And then we'll recruit two heroes. You. Oh, wait, character experience gain. Oh, do I want that, though? So I can get whatever the hell the death claw is and just. Inc no, I won't waste a space on that. What I will do, though, is the. Where was it? Disciplined melee attack plus two leadership plus two all units in army and he's a wizard i need a wizard so yes we'll grab ulrich sido oh wait are they all wizards oh yeah they're all wizards we'll grab a jade wizard then recruit sends you in there oh i wonder if it's a good idea leaving him in altdorf for the time being and maybe sending him up here to help with the vampires we're gonna have to put him in in camp though otherwise he'll lose Oops. we'll end the turn see what happens with these vampires they attacked i had a feeling they would 
what do i lose two great swords i mean i want him gone anyway two great swords though is a bit of a loss wizard 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 oh my god four wizards there's going to be so many spells i don't know if i have the big garrison in this or not i think i might but the defensive supplies are quite low so i don't know we'll auto resolve it anyway because like i said i want to get rid of the outriders i mean these two are a bit of a blow but again it says that like look remaining is zero but they'll go back and they'll have fucking three full armies or some bullshit three <laughs> I'm like what the fuck are they just never die killed in battle killed in battle tech research oh yeah forgot about technology rank gained now i need to really hurry up and get this to tier three because they're just going to keep attacking 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 might have to get a couple swordsmen or halberdiers maybe they're probably a bit more reliable grab two of them another rank increase hero recruit rank oh my god i'm so stupid man i'm so fucking stupid why did i not do that before i got my goddamn hero doesn't count does it no oh, four points would have been so useful oh well join him anyway probably just send you along put you on the bridge if i take you out of encampment you can attack both of them i want that but casualties high oh we we lose one we have no ranged units, which is a bit concerning. How is my guy still walking this earth? Thank God for that. Oh wait, he's probably still alive. Are they all killed, are they? Holy hell. Flensburg, full garrison. We still got this guy's army. We can't put him in camp anymore. Unless we do that. We increase that. Minus attrition. I need that at the moment, definitely. No, it doesn't work. We'll send him back into our land though. Oh wait, oh we're no longer suffering from attrition. Oh, so I could have saved that one. Oh well. Man, he could upgrade these marauders, marauders into something beastly, but he's just not for some reason. Look at all the XP. No one's killing a single unit. I think Wissenland might be in a bit of trouble. Yeah, because now they're getting attacked from the Wood Elves. It's just me and the Golden Order that are holding it strong. The Ogres are back. Where are you off to? Back into your capital. Oh no, the dwarves are getting fucking pummeled. Rank gained for him. Oh wait, I've already done that. What technology can we research though? What do I really need at the moment? Leadership when fighting against vampire and tomb kings. Yeah, I need that. 7,000 though. I'll, I'll do it because we do need it. They're just going to send every army they got over here. Oh, one's going back to, um, who are you? Oh, you're part of Festus and his mob. You're going back up here to take care of this cave and the good shout. Oh, I've never seen this guy before. I've never seen him in battle either. I'd kind of want to see that. Have I met him technically? He'd be a part of uh, Warriors of Chaos or anything. Yeah, he's right there. He's got two settlements up here apparently, but he's all the way down here for some reason. Can't wait to see these new artillery units. I might send Essing over to help the dwarves take on grom the paunch i might do that now actually okay guys that's going to be it for this episode here if you enjoyed it please leave a like and i'll catch you in the next one take care